Hi everyone and welcome back to OK Games. Do you remember Bob? If not, that's bad. It means you have missed his first training session where he learned how to play Peng. Well, now Bob is 3D and he's not creepy at all. In his next training session, Bob will try to learn how to play a survival shooter. How, you may wonder? Well, using a neural network and a genetic algorithm. Let me briefly explain both of them. A neural network aims to represent how our human brain works. This, for example, is a representation of a neural network. Every circle is a neuron, and every arrow is a link from one neuron to another. We divide a group of neurons into layers, like these ones. The first layer is the input layer, where we have, well, our inputs. The last one, instead, is the output layer, where we have the final result of our net. All the other inner layers are called hidden layers. How does this work? Well, every neuron has a number associated and, besides the input layer, this number depends on the values of the neurons in the previous layers. So, for the neural network to evaluate a given situation and produce an output, it would go like this. You first fill in the inputs. Those inputs will then be, let's say, processed by the hidden layers and then passed forward to the output layer, who will evaluate his own values. Once the output layer is filled, there you have your result. A genetic algorithm, instead, is based on the concept of survival of the fittest, where the stronger individual survives. Those were brief explanation. If you want to know more, I suggest you to search it on your own. It's a really interesting topic. Now, let's continue. Well, the game itself is simple and ugly. Basically, there are these knights that want to kill you for some reasons. They spawn with a certain frequency and they just charge at you. Luckily for Bob, he can shoot cannonball out of his chest while standing in T-pose for some reason. Well, actually the reason is that I don't know how to animate yet. I'm working on it. Over his head you can see two number. The first is his current health, and the second one is the ammo that he has. When he reaches zero ammo, he will need to wait a few seconds to recharge. I mean, it would be unrealistic if he never had to reload, isn't it? What are you now seeing is me playing the game, in a normal way, I guess. Just aiming for the knight close to me and trying to stay as far away as possible. You may think that this is how Bob will learn how to play the game, right? Yeah, I guess that too. And that is absolutely wrong. <laughs> of course! Why would he play the way I expect to anyway? He's just a disappointment to me. Now, before moving on to showcase Bob's amazing training and result, I want to ask you this. What should Bob try to learn next? I have some other ideas in mind, but I want to hear from you guys what you would like to see him trying to do. So, let me know in the comments. With this being said, let's start Bob's training. Oh yes, I'm sure that's the correct way of walking around, Bob. Keep it up. Well, apparently Bob likes to spin, so I've decided to call this the Beyblade Attack. That was cool. I hope Bob learns some new skills. Let's leave him to his training. Two hours later. Boy oh boy, I can't wait to see how much Bob has learned. I think that he likes a bit too much his Beyblade attack, but it seems to be working. He hasn't really understand the reload part. He just shoot every time he can. And my guess is that he is only trying to stay away from the knights and shooting around randomly like a madman. Anyway, let's stop his training and see how it plays out for him. Well, he is just relying on his magnificent spin attack. But it seems to be working. 
I mean, at least he's not dying instantly. Maybe I did something wrong, like how I evaluate his fitness score. As for the moment, I am just counting the amount of knights that he kills and how much time he stays alive. Probably, if I started punishing him or rewarding him based on some other factors, like the amount of missing shots or how many times he has to reload, it would have been different. That should have forced him in a aiming his shot. Unfortunately, I don't have the will to continue his training using genetic algorithm. I think that in this situation there is too much going on for them to work properly, because every attempt I made resulted in a spinny behavior. Next time I'll try a different approach for Bob's training. For now, he seems a bit dizzy after all those spins, let's let him rest. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to gently click on the like button so Bob can be happy after all his efforts. As I said, let me know what you would like to see for the next training session with Bob. Oh, and of course, subscribe, why not? That's all, see you next time guys!